I get lots of questions on how my teeth are so white. And I'm here to tell you all about it, okay? What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are talking all about teeth whitening. I've done this video before. It was a while ago. It's an old video, so I decided to take it down. Mm -mm, it was real old. We gonna cut right to the chase, okay? I whiten my teeth, okay? And I do it at home. I have gotten it whitened before at the dentist. It was one of the most horrific dental experiences ever. The lady did put this gel on my gums, but it was not nearly enough gel or whatever it was. I felt like the whitening situation burned a hole through my gums. It was horrifying. I don't use Crest White strips. My husband and I pride ourselves on having white teeth. If you think my teeth are white, you need to see his teeth. His teeth are white, okay? And he's a little darker than me, so his teeth are like, bing. I'm like, dang, that is just not fair. We kind of are in a competition to get the whitest teeth. Now, I want you to understand that when you whiten your teeth, first of all, I'm not a dentist or a dental assistant. So take what I'm saying to you with precaution. Don't go whitening your teeth, burning yourself, and then coming to holler at me. I ain't the one. You feel what I'm saying? So that's my disclosure right there for the kid. But if you just want to know what I do, I'm trying to tell you something. So we buy our whitening kits online okay and here's an example of one of the ones that we use which one do we use we buy whatever's on sale we used to buy the whitening gel that had the percentages in the 20s that we have found is not very strong if you want fast results you want good results you're looking at 30s 40s percent of what is it called peroxide we use 44 percent peroxide okay it is strong I want to be very clear, it is strong. So if you're going to use the link below, it's going to be the one to, well, depending on what I find, 40 or 44%, it is extremely strong. If you've never whitened your teeth, start off with something in the 20s, maybe 15% peroxide. Start off with that, okay? To be sure to see how it feels for you, okay? Everybody's different. I've whitened for, what, five years now, and I don't whiten as often as I used to. How often do you whiten? It depends on how yellow you are. You may wanna whiten every other day for for two weeks until you get to your desired level of whitening. That might be too much for you. You might wanna whiten once a week, maybe once a month. It depends on how yellow you are and how white you wanna be. So when you buy the whitening kits, normally it'll come with a chart that shows, and you can put it up to your teeth, figure out where you are, and then decide where you wanna be as you whiten. Then you keep track of how white you're getting, and then you keep on going or you stop. General rule of thumb is, for me, whiten until you get to your desired level of whitening, and then stop and then whiten every now and then for touch-ups. So when we're eating foods that are dark in color, let's say you're drinking Coca-Cola, coffee obviously will stain your teeth, so will tea, the dark teas, right? Unless you're drinking white tea, but those are gonna stain your teeth. That is the kind of thing that I'm talking about when I say do touch-ups. You may wanna touch up every month, every three months, whatever. If I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, oh, then I'll whiten my teeth, but I don't do it on a regular basis like I used to. With whitening your teeth, I've learned to put Vaseline on the gums. Now, is Vaseline toxic? I don't know. Again, proceed with caution. Again, this is what I do. You gotta figure out what works best for you. You may wanna just go to the dentist and let them whiten you with that strong, powerful, astronomical tool, you know, systems that they have. And from what I understand, it'll take you, okay, I don't know what your dentist is gonna do, but from what I understand, it's real powerful and it's supposed to get you real white real fast. It won't take you as long as if you were to be doing it at home but like i said i tried it one time it was horrifying it was so strong and she didn't put enough what you call it on my gums it was it was burning me so badly i hated it so much but with the at-home teeth whitening it does come with the gel you do get the teeth trays now from my dentist i do have the personalized trays which were free and i actually need to get another one because mine's a little huh, jacked up they're old but if you can get that tray from your dentist but if you can't it's fine my husband doesn't have the personalized trays and again is he the white of the mind you can use the tray it comes with i believe what he does is boil it let it cool down a little bit then bite into it and it molds to his teeth I, I i just believe that's what he does i haven't i don't watch him do it then you squeeze the gel onto the tray you want to make sure you don't 
squeeze too much because when you put it on, like you're putting on an Invisalign, it's going to spread. And when it spreads, that's when it spreads onto your gums. And when the gel goes onto your gums, that's when it starts to burn a hole into your soul, okay? So that is why we've just, we've just started to put Vaseline on the gums, top, like front and underneath because it'd be mad strong. But then I've also learned over the years how not to put too much gel. If you put too much gel, you are gonna be in some serious trouble. You feel what I'm saying? The kits that we use do come with a light. Is that LED? Whatever, the blue light. That helps to speed up the whitening process. So I do like to get the ones with the light. Without the light, it's just gonna take a longer time. You put that light on that joint. <laughs> I'm laughing because I have done it where I've been like, I gotta take this out right now. But then I've done it where I'm like, oh, I could sit here for 45 minutes. So to answer that question, if you have it, I'll leave it on for 30. I've left it on for an hour. It depends. I might multitask. So I'll put that on and be cleaning or washing dishes. My mouth does salivate with the trays and the light in the mouth. For that reason, every now and then, if I'm still whitening, I will have to spit and then go back to whitening. So that is something to be mindful of. After you take it off, you wanna brush your teeth, not with toothpaste, but just with water and brush it. Obviously I do this like during the daytime after I've already brushed my teeth with, for, what's it called? What's the toothpaste called? fluoride toothpaste, you know what I'm saying? So no need to do that right then per se. What I can say, which what was alarming in the beginning when I would whiten it, even now actually, if it's my first time doing it in a while, when I whiten, I would see white patches on my teeth, which means that the peroxide or the gel took to those areas more than others. So that was alarming. Cause I was like, wait, tomorrow when I'm in public, people are gonna see spots on my teeth like a cheetah. However, it did go away overnight. So the next day that those spots aren't there, it's like it all evens out somehow. So if you do see that, just know that that has happened to me and I guess it's normal. But you wanna just keep on whitening until you get to your desired level of whitening, honestly. And then do touch ups. Like I'm due for a touch up or two, honestly. Some people might just whiten the front. Absolutely not. I whiten all the way around because again, I have the personalized trays. I'm not gonna just whiten where I think you're gonna see. Like, what is that? No, just do the whole thing. So we're whiten the whole thing. You feel know what I'm saying? And if you're wondering, I've never had Invisalign braces, none of that. In fact, I chipped my tooth. A little piece of this tooth was chipped I was working at Brown University as a residential advisor for a summer at Brown program. That doesn't matter, but it was the setting of the situation. And we went in the dining hall and they had some kielbasa. I love kielbasa with hot sauce. Yo, you can't talk to me. So I had drenched my kielbasa in hot sauce. You feel what I'm saying? That's, you know where we're going right now? Mm -hmm. And I dug into that fork to chew on that kielbasa. I was hungry. I dug so deeply into it and bit down so hard that I chipped my tooth. I was sitting there and I was like, I didn't tell anybody. I was mortified. Oh my God, I was mortified. I mean, outside of having my wisdom teeth pulled, I've never had teeth issues. So I was like, oh my God, I have a chipped tooth. This cannot be happening. This is ridiculous. I quietly finished up and I was like touching my tooth. I was like, Jesus, lamb. I thought I was missing a tooth. I was so, oh, I, I did not know what to do myself. I called my dentist and they, they fit me in, I think the next day or the day after. You should have seen me, the way I was talking. I was talking real finagled. I just could not talk more than this because I was so embarrassed. I could not believe it. Anyway, so yeah. Outside of that, I've never had anything done to my teeth in case you are wondering. The whitening is just cool to do at home. Again, tread lightly, go at your own pace. We buy the random ones on Amazon. Whatever's on sale is what we get. 40 or 44% is what we choose. We buy it, we share it, we use it, it works. When it finishes, we buy another one. The link might not work anymore. We just Google 44% teeth whitening. We make sure we get the one that has the light and we go from there. And that honestly and truly is it. Of course, you wanna still make sure that you are flossing your teeth at night, brushing your teeth twice a day. I do that. I also use an electric toothbrush that is new as of a year ago because your manual brush, you just ain't gonna be able to get everywhere you need to get the way you need to be getting it. When you go to your dentist, when they start scaling you, using that scrape to scrape your teeth, if they are having to scrape a lot, that means your teeth are dirty. When I went to my last appointment, because again, I've been using electric brush for the past year, she barely had to scale and I knew it. I was like, my teeth are clean, huh? She goes, yeah, way more than 
in the past. So you wanna make sure you're using an electric toothbrush. If you have a smartphone, you should have an electric toothbrush. I mean, hello. If you can talk into your phone to make appointments and text, you should be using an electric toothbrush. I mean, it just, I just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That is that. I hope that answers all of the teeth whitening questions because I get them a lot and now I can just send this video around. If you have any other questions uh, or just any other video recommendations, comment below and let me know. Let me know if you have whitened your teeth, <laughs> what your experience was. Let me know if you plan on trying this. I'm laughing because I've done it wrong where I've put in too much gel and it freaking burns. So just tread lightly, go slow. Put a little bit of gel, line the tray, put it on again. When you put it on, it's gonna just press. So just imagine, it's gonna press and spread. Just go light, go slowly. Whiten again the next day, the day afterward. Take your time. You are wearing down the enamel of your teeth, so take your time. Make sure you're using, what, like an enamel building tooth toothpaste? What do you call those things? I don't know. Again, proceed with caution. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. As always, make sure you are subscribed because that is very important. Comment below, give the video a thumbs up if it answered all of your teeth whitening questions. And as always, thanks for watching the video. Bye.